All right, this is the this is the raw feeding of the Greyhound. Have raw chicken legs. Um, this is chicken backs. And let's see. These are just like half chicken ribs. And Greyhounds, they love turkey necks. They're very meaty. They love to chew on them. These are perfect, great for the teeth. That's pretty much what the meal looks like. Um, you don't have to feed them one time a day. Raw food is great, raw feeding is great because, in my opinion, I think it's cheaper compared to buying a $50 bag of dog food that's roughly around 30 pounds. He'll go through that in three weeks. But the raw feeding, I'll end up spending maybe $40 and it'll take them maybe I'm off to go through that. I usually keep these in sandwich bags. I pack them up, put them in the freezer. Each day he needs, or each day it's time to eat, I'll just take a bag out. Make sure you wash your hands. Because this is wall feeding. Don't want anyone to get sick. Whenever there's juice in the sandwich bags, left over, I guess blood or whatever, I just usually pour it in a bowl. What are you doing, Daddy? We love these. We love the juice. Wash your hands, wash your hands. I can't stress that anymore. Wash them hands. Alright. Try out for a little bit. As you can see, Kudo is very hungry. Very greedy. Also, I like to take a little bit of coconut oil. Organic coconut oil. This stuff is very good for the dogs. They love it. Awesome for their coat. I'll take a teaspoon of this. My girlfriend hates me to use her coconut oil because it's very expensive. Just pour some in there. Daddy. It's good for the coat. What are you doing? I am recording Kudo's meal. And that's Kudo. Here's his food. Kudo speak. Speak. Right, that's not speak, but whatever. He's hungry. Come on. Come on. My beautiful girlfriend, Kim. Where are you? I'm just doing it. And come on. Down. 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 Okay. Speak. speak. Come on. Room. Speak. There you have it. Raw bones are very safe to eat. Cooked bones are unsafe. So he just devoured that. There goes the turkey neck. Dogs love turkey necks. 
Very meaty bones. It's good for the teeth. I mean, I like raw feeding. Like I said, in my opinion, I think it's cheaper than commercial food. You can go to the, uh, your local butcher and get some meat, or go to um, go to a farmer's market. But the meat is definitely cheaper. Don't go to Publix or Kroger. Go to a local butcher or a farmer's market. I don't know why he doesn't take his time to eat. This is perfectly safe. I usually feed them um, six days in a row and fast them for one day. You know, just to give a stomach a rest on all the bones and everything. One thing about raw food, uh, raw feeding is this stool is also different. It's less stool. It's also great when they have accidents in the house. The stool is very small and it's kind of crusty. I know I've had problems when I first got them. You know, the stool is always soft and mushy and they'll have accidents in the house. They suck cleaning it up. Dude is just going to work. My kid is hungry. Looks like some chicken ribs. Sometimes I'll put some uh, sweet potatoes in there, chop up a few sweet potatoes, throw it in there. You know, add a little fiber to his diet. Dogs love sweet potatoes and a little broccoli in there. Give him a few nutrients. Take your time. Another thing about raw feeding is, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but you don't have to feed them one time a day, once a day. chicken leg
Looks like he's pretty much done. A little scrap right there, and what's left is the juice. Coconut oil and juice from the chicken. And once again, they love the juice from the chicken. like he's just about done. And there you have it. That's the everyday meal Bakudo. The Greyhound. Keeps him nice and healthy. Nice and fast. Come here boy. Come here. Come here. Hey. Go to your room. Go to your room. Go to your room. Come here. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess he still thinks there's food left around. And that's that. Signing out, Katie Gray. Peace.